Welcome to episode two of Mr. Helpful Show with the G. Now uh, I'm just gathering up all my my equipment at McDonald's. Uh, the equipment we usually use is uh, two double cheeseburgers and a Coke. Yeah, that's everything. And that's why they call me minimalistic. I don't need so much to make a a good program for you guys on YouTube because most of your videos suck. Just kidding. Ford, Mercury. Mercury and Ford are the same company? I had no idea. Here you go. Um, Why the hell would I need a receipt? I want to return these burgers. They suck. This isn't at all what I ordered. Hey, uh, is there any way I can get you to throw the soap? You too. I'm gonna go have a better 10 minutes right now with this burgers and myself. And then later on, I can go make a song for you guys. It's gonna be a great song. So, today I got Skate 3. How's that going for you? It's a pretty good game. Yeah? It's a lot better than Skate 2 or Skate 1. What kind of new features does it have? Well, you can do dark slides, you can do anything. Anything in the world. It's pretty good? Yeah, it was pretty good. Speaking of good, I had a pretty bad burger today. Pretty bad? Oh yeah, I heard about that. I heard uh, you had an interview with Jesus today. Yeah, the owner of McDonald's is Jesus. Oh, holy. And everybody knows that. I didn't know that. All right, well... Uh, you went to his house there, did you? Yeah, I did. Well, let's take a look at that. Okay, roll the footage. Respect the law. I know I do. Alright, so, um, Jesus gave me some pretty bad service lately. And I'm gonna go to Jesus' house and complain about this burger he gave me. No onions, no pickles. Alright. Just gotta wait a minute. He's shy. Actually, let's just walk in. He was pretty rude to me. Okay. Oh, hey. It's over here. So how dare you serve me that burger? I think, uh... At this point in time in my life, I really don't give a shit about my company. I see that we're going into a recession. I can't hire more than uh, immigrants. I'm sorry okay. to tell you. You should hire some uh, onion pickers. Onion pickers? I actually came across cotton pickers. They took, they pointed me in the direction of uh, onion pickers, but I got there and the city was abandoned. They went into a huge inflation and uh, the recession there was just absolutely phenomenal. I can't well, deal with this anymore. Well, then they've got to start investing in small coins. Small coins is not going to help them now. Small coins. They've well, they had big coins. Their country. I actually hear Canada, uh, the country that we're in, is going to be uh, buying this land mass in, uh, for about 99 cents a square foot. That's about as best you can get, even from Carpet World. I could even buy Canada. You could buy Canada. I want we should buy write Canada. them a check. Canada. I Canada. would love Canada. 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 I'm back from the interview. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Enlightening. Uh, I liked the interview. That was pretty interesting, I'd say. We like to take our time. Time is well taken with us. We're good at taking care of time. I like time being taken care of. Time is an important thing to take care of. Time is nice to have. Time is excellent to have. I wish I had a watch. She got a watch. are important. More important than clocks. A little bit. If I could 
a wire clock on my wrist I would. Which wrist would you wear it on? My right one. Lots of information for me. Apparently. <laughs> he, he loves the recession. Yeah. I never thought Jesus could be so blunt. I don't think anybody could be that blunt. I imagined him with longer hair. I imagined him with uh, a lot of other things. Like what? A beard, a cloak. Like he wasn't even wearing white. You mean like uh, the boss wizard in Harry Potter? Exactly. You imagined him to be Harry Potter. But he wasn't. But he wasn't Harry Potter. It was disappointing. But anyways, this has been Mr. Hopeful Show. I'm Eric. Justin Z. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.